let's try that. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I'm about to give Matt Baird uh, a call uh, from the band Spoken, which I didn't hear about till fairly recently. Um, but they've been a band since. Uh, 1996, so, get my notes, hey, hello. hey it's Dylan calling, Sorry. not too bad, um, how are you doing man, yeah I'm Canadian, oh, yeah, yeah, from Chilwack. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen a lot. Yeah. Sometimes. Huh. Hey, I, I, how do you how far are you guys from uh, Vancouver? Uh, about an hour and a half. Okay. Yeah. We spent uh, six weeks in Vancouver back ten years ago or so. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. I, you've been a band for a really long time. Um, yeah, 20 years. Yeah. Will be 20 years. Which is, <laughs> I think, is amazing. Like, it just kind of shows what kind of uh, musician you are. Um, and it's something that you just genuinely love to do, I would guess. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They continue to make new fans and younger fans, whatever, but it's weird because so many of my peers and people that have become my friends over the years, they're, they're no longer in bands, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm 39 years old, I have, you know, two kids, the mortgage, and just, you know, whatever, but yet, I don't, I, I guess it's been one of those things where it's like, uh, until, until God says, hey, you're done, yep. you know, Yeah. And, you know, I mean, at, at times I'm kind of like, you know, God, are you, are you trying to tell me something here and you're just not saying it loud enough? Am I so stubborn that I'm hmm. beating a dead horse? You know what I mean? Like, you're just kind of like, you, the last thing you want is to not be walking in the will of God. Yeah. And you're trying to, trying to be obedient and trying to chase after his will, but at sometimes you're like, wow, there's a lot of stuff going on that mm -hmm. I can't control. Um, you know, and so you kind of look at it as like, am I, what am I doing? What am I supposed to be doing? But in the end, it, it, it comes down to, uh, until God pulls the plug, I, I have to do it. And yeah. I'm, I'm lucky to do it. I'm honored sure. to do it. Hmm. It, so it begins again this year for a three month tour. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, actually, I, like, just from when I came across your band, I, act, I went through all your lyrics and just, if it can be an encouragement to you, I've noticed, actually, as time has gone on, I have related more and more and more to your lyrics. Uh, yeah, and I, I wrote down some notes. Um, okay, the a moment of clear of imperfect clarity. You that just kind of that topic. That's when it, I don't know. I was really really drawn to that. Even just how you worded that. Uh, what are your, like, what was your thoughts around that time? Well, I mean, one, that's the record we recorded in Vancouver, so I, I have no, no doubt. Okay, I think it's cool. You're, you're from up in that area. Yeah. You're there, you know. Um, you know, originally we wanted to, we wanted to name the album Kill the Twilight. Yeah. Was, oh, such a catchy, catchy name. And, um, friends of ours in a band, they were terrible, but they had, uh, they had a song called Kill the Twilight. Hmm. I'm like, man, that's really cool. So that's what we wanted to name our record, but we, you know, Tooth and Nail was saying that they thought the Christian market might, uh, at least Christian retail might have a hard time with the word kill. And so, um, you know, the definition of Twilight is the moment of imperfect clarity. And mm -hmm. so, uh, that's what we should be too. 
Yeah. No, I, I, uh, the reason why I connected to that too is because I, it, in everyone's story, they all, whenever they tell it, there's always that moment where all of a sudden, like it, that's where I got eyes for the blind. Like literally when your eyes are just opened and you just have that understanding so that was that was really really uh spoke loud and clear to me um and then when you released your self-titled i um album uh your self-titled i album in 2007 just like the trading in this troubled heart and history erased and brought to life like those were you just i don't know I just continued to connect with your heart and then the calm the storm that's something that maybe you could just what was going on around that time Is, is huge and uh, I always think of it and this is is cool too because it says in the Bible that uh, like life without God your soul becomes like restless waters yeah, yeah and so like just I understand um, exactly what you're talking like being in that position in life where it's just everything is overwhelming um, and it, it, it's so easy to cave kind of thing. Uh, but I see time and time again, uh, your, uh, just where your heart's coming from, man. And it's, it's really, really encouraging. Um, and that's also why I believe that your band has been around as long as it has. Uh, because of um, your heart and really you have a message that you have been consistently just speaking and I th it's just become more and more and more clear I think you are definitely just just keep doing what you're doing really uh, That's cool, man. Yeah. yeah yeah and, and you know in, in different parts of your life you're in a different chapter yeah Mm -hmm. So then when you hit patches of rough water, whatever, you're like, what is going on? And, you know, I, I, I spent a lot of time in the Twilight Zone, you know, 
Hmm. And we're just like, I'm like, God, what? Are you getting a kick out of this? What's going on? You know, and that's the relationship that I have with God. You know, I'm like, God, there's no, um, there's really, I don't know, hiding the, the thought process of like, God, I'm so confused right now. And I know you have it all figured out. Mm-hmm. I know your plan is so much better than mine. But mm-hmm. I'm trying to make an educated guess on, you know, weighing pros and cons, what's best for my family, what's best for and how do we continue to be a band and travel and, you know, build a brand new team around us with management, record label, booking agency, business manager. Um, but, you know, I, I understand I'm trying to kind of wade through this whole thing, but in the end, God, I just, I just want, I just want to hear clearly, like, what do you want me to do? Because I'll do it. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. 